everybody. Welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today we're in Miami, Florida, but we're not going to be here for long because we're boarding the biggest cruise ship in the world, Royal Caribbean's Symphony of the Seas, and we're going on an eight-night adventure. So you're going to want to hit subscribe below and not miss any of this journey. Yeah, so welcome to part one. We're going to show you what it's like to board the cruise ship during the pandemic. We're going to show you our amazing stateroom, get some drinks, get some food. We might even see a show. So how about you? Come with us on this adventure. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's our ship right there. Ooh, so cool. How big is that? <laughs> it's so big, holy crap. It's like the biggest one out of all the ones here. It's kind of intimidating. We're real rookies. You're supposed to print off like this tag to put on your bag so that they bring your bag to your room. We didn't do it, but they can do it here at the port, if you ask nicely. So we're actually cruising out of the port of Miami, which both of us have never been here before. And it's kind of a shame because we just rolled out of the hotel and drove straight to the terminal and we went by the city of Miami and it looks awesome. And it's got me so freaking excited. <laughs> Is it our turn? Oh, yeah. Hello, <laughs> yes. you? Right? Sure, I thought, I'm such a- Write it up, write it up for me. Please. It's a bright pink, it's a bright pink, yeah. <laughs> what happened? I left my freaking passport and my vaccination card in the bag that we just checked. I'm a rookie, okay? We're rookies here. And we told her to make sure that she had <laughs> her said it. COVID said it. card and her passport. <laughs> it's not your fault. You specifically said it. It happens a thousand times. Because <laughs> of the airport, I put it in that bag and then I forgot to put it in this bag. I know it's in there. Oh my God. Okay, thank you. Find it? Yeah, got it. That vaccine card is like gold. If I were to lose that, I would be, You'd be screwed. screwed. So we got it, we got it, let's go. <laughs> she gets a pass this time. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you, you so made much. your first superstar mistake on the cruise ship. <laughs> <laughs> I make this mistake again. Yo. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, he's great. Sorry. That was quick. I thought we were gonna be waiting there like an hour, but I got it. Let's go back in the line and let's get inside. I gotta say, I'm kind of impressed by Royal's port compared to Disney. Disney's feels like it was from the 90s and it's kind of falling apart. This feels modern and cool. We were just told that this ship actually holds 6,000 people, but on our sailing, there's only gonna be 1,300. So by my math, that's only like a fourth of the ship. Maybe a fifth. Maybe even a fifth. Wow, even smaller. That's. This is crazy. Okay, let's get on. Yeah. <laughs> this is it, our first time on Symphony of the Seas. Are you excited? I'm very excited. <laughs> We're almost on. <laughs> on the ship. <laughs> Yay, thank you. <laughs> oh my god, they have balloons and everything for us. <laughs> is this the biggest cruise ship in the world? Where do we even begin? I don't know. So every time you get on a ship, you got to do the muster drill, which basically is like the safety precautions if anything were to happen, you know where to go and what to do. On this ship, and almost all the ships, they're doing it on the app, but we just walked in and they're like, your muster station's right over here, so just go over there. So we're going to get it done. Welcome to Emergency Station E. This is where you would come if in the case of an emergency. Uh, you'll hear the emergency signal a little bit later. The captain will sound it. It's just seven short blasts followed by one long blast. This is crazy. How many times am I gonna say that today, how crazy this is? <laughs> so if there's an emergency, this is where we need to report to. And I like that it's right here because it's like literally in the center of the ship. So I will remember that it's right there. <laughs> I guess now let's go try to find our room. Right here it says you can only have six people at a time or your group only please in the elevator. Our elevator has arrived, sir. Follow me. I will show you to your room. Oh, look on the ground. It actually says what day it is. That's actually kind of smart. Yeah, because I would have no idea. <laughs> We specifically waited for a glass elevator. I hope it's worth it. <laughs> it's worth it. <laughs> Is it not? Look at the decorations oh, wow. there. Wow. All 
I mean, it's it's more of an art yeah, piece. It's like yeah. kites. Holy cow. So we are in the forward. I mean, technically we're in the middle. Yeah. But, okay, let's go. We're in the middle forward, you know, if you want to get uh, technical ship terms here. Ooh. I think we're right by the elevator. That's great. Welcome aboard. Yeah, I think it's our key. It's our key. My guess is this unlocks everything. Yeah. So don't lose this key, Kitra. <laughs> <laughs> what are the odds I'm going to lose it? <laughs> Pretty high. Okay. Sanitize for our protection. Oh my. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. We got a fruit plate. What? Oh my goodness. I guess we're going to have to explain the story of why we have such an awesome room. Yeah. I know like when we watch a lot of cruise vlogs, they don't explain things. Well, they kind of assume that you've already been on a cruise and want to share that experience. So I want to try to explain things for people who have never been on a cruise before. Like us. We're learning. We're learning with you and hopefully we could help you in any way. <laughs> yeah. So this is an eight night cruise on the Symphony of the Seas, which if you look is usually about $1,000 per person for double occupancy for a normal room. Royal Caribbean does this thing. It's called Royal Up. And what that is, is it's kind of like that thing that some airlines do where you can bid on better places so i was like you know what we're, we're paying so little here because we also got like buy one get one half off yeah there's like some crazy yeah. sale going on so uh you could bid on these suites and if nobody actually booked the suites for the full price the person with the highest bid would get the suite so we i, I bid i didn't even tell her he didn't <laughs> Yeah. You bid on every like option that there was. Yeah. And yeah. of course you only get charged for the one that you win. Yeah. And this one is the one bedroom grand suite. And <gasps> it's the grand suite? I didn't even realize that. No yeah. wonder we got a fruit plate. Yeah. And <laughs> I, I think normally it's like about $10,000 for like a sailing like this. Yeah. Uh, we got it for an additional 500 and something dollars each. Wow. So it's basically the size of two, one, like two normal rooms. Yeah, this is, I've been on one cruise before, it was a Disney cruise, and it was nice, we had a porthole, and I thought that was, like, live and large. <laughs> this is, by the looks of it, insanity. I feel really spoiled. Like, yeah. this is, like, crazy. Yeah, let, let's do a room tour. Well, hello, and welcome to the suite tour. It's not even a room tour, it is the suite tour. <laughs> Where do we begin? I guess in our kitchen? Yeah, what is this area? I don't really know. It's the area where we, we keep the fruit, apparently. So it's where we keep our fruit plate. But this has got me excited. We have a coffee machine, and I'm pretty sure normal rooms don't come with this. They don't, and they give, they bring you new coffee every and day. And this is the good stuff. This These are the beans that I use at home. Like, <laughs> this is like the stuff from Italy. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure this is... Um, what are those machines? It's better than a Keurig. It's like an espresso maker. Yeah. So... I am excited for that and that alone. It is worth it for that. And we got these fancy vases. Don't knock them over. I know we got. I'm big... kidding. I'm. Pr they're probably not movable. Yeah, oh, they're yeah, not you're... movable. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I didn't even think of that. Cause like, what if the ship <laughs> the ship was a rockin'? You wouldn't want them to be knocking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you mean crashing? You know what I just noticed? We have a bottle of Evian, and I think it's complimentary, right? Huh. If I drink this, I won't get charged extra, like a mini bar. I don't know. Well, I'm gonna drink it, so hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then over here we have a little, I don't even know what this is, a dry bar? Oh, there's your oh, safe. Oh, okay, there's our safe. Or we're not going to keep anything. Yeah, we honestly probably aren't. And More got... vases that don't move. That's so, we should go buy some <laughs> flowers. I think they sell flowers, we could put them in there. What are behind the mirrors, Peter? Probably a closet. Let's find out. <laughs> you were right. Wow, look at how huge this closet. If anybody has never been on a cruise ship before, you have no idea how big this closet yeah, is. Yeah, this is like literally a walk-in closet. <laughs> yeah. Technically. Oh yeah, you could have, we could store... I uh, could just sleep in here. Yeah. Right? Perfect. <laughs> why, didn't, why didn't we bring Pixel and Gizmo? We could have I just... know. We should have. Next time. <laughs> they can't come. But the, it also comes with these complimentary robes, and I don't think that normal rooms get the robes. They don't. So, I mean, I plan to wear this robe 
every waking moment you on this cruise. You could wear it to the pool. I, I'm going to, because you know what? I forgot a swimsuit cover up, so this this will be it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> every, why do all bloggers have to do that? They're like, hey. Well, you just did it. Were you being serious or uh, and i'm copy like i don't know if that's a rule if you're a if you're a vlogger, <laughs> you're right it is the underlying you, you, rule you are in the you got to say hello to yourself hi should we do a bathroom tour i'm guessing the, the bathroom is in here yeah. and for, there's a sign here so klutzes like me be careful i think there's a ledge there and you don't oh, yeah there's like a little <laughs> that's gonna be me at like midnight of the night <laughs> all right what is our bathroom oh my <laughs> holy crap Peter! Wow. This is... I think this is bigger than our room on the Disney cruise. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Look, we have a full-size bath and shower. That I, is... I am blown away. Yeah, I yeah. can take a bath every night. Look at this. We got his and her sinks. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We have fancy um, bath products. Oh yeah, I think that's an upgrade too. It the, is. I guarantee it is. They're yeah. not giving the. I can't even pronounce it, but this is like kind of a bougie. Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. Do for we me. got room in here. Hey, you can keep your like. Put our toothbrushes in there. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Again. <laughs> you forgot to say hello to yourself. Oh, hello again. I need to fix my hair. <laughs> I am shook. Are you? By this bathroom. Yeah. Oh yeah. oh yeah! That's some serious suction right there. That's the stuff right there. Oh yeah, you can stash the trash. <laughs> Are we ever gonna go back to normal life after this? <laughs> We're gonna have I'm to just because kidding. we can afford this. If we life. book another cruise, I am perfectly fine with like an indoor room, no windows, but this is like bougie. <laughs> we forgot to mention right below the coffee maker, we got a mini fridge. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's not stocked with caviar, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we actually have a living room and a bedroom separated by a wall. What? What? Oh my god, we got like, what do you call we that? Got plants. Little plants. We They're got probably plant fake. life here. <laughs> they are probably fake, but I appreciate it. We had a couch, which I'm sure turns into a bed at some point. Yeah, and two chairs. Yeah. A huge TV. And I'm talking huge for a cruise ship. Oh, yeah. This is... That's big. This is bigger than most people's TV at home. And also, the internet package costs money here, but if you have the Sweet Life, you it's get it free? included. Yeah. Wow! That's great, because we're vloggers! <laughs> <laughs> we made you something awesome. Clawsome. Clawsome. A... I get it. What do you think's in here? I really have no idea. Oh, it's a cute little... Royal oh. Caribbean <laughs> crab mask. That's cute. Now, if you is see, is it fabric? Yeah, yeah, it's like a real heavy duty mask. Oh, that's cool. That's very nice of them. I wonder who picks out like the decor in these rooms. Like, what is that? It's very colorful. I don't know what it is, but yeah, it's there. <laughs> then over here, oh look, there's a little divider. This has got to be a bigger bed than normal too, right? I don't know. It looks normal. It looks like it's a normal bed, which okay. I think it actually you can split it into two. Oh, two twin sizes. Two full sizes or something. I love that we have all this displayed on the bed. I guess it's everything that we need. All the sh all the ports that we're going to, all the shows. What are the wristbands? For? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. And then we also have some pins that say congratulations on achieving platinum status. This isn't our name. We're in the right room, right? That's weird. Are we in the right room? Yeah, we are. Okay. Well, we have somebody else's pins. We should go find them. I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> and then over here, we have a vanity. It has another vase. And this is where I'm going to be editing the videos and probably putting on my makeup. Yeah. Is there anything in there? Oh, no. But yeah. I could, like, put stuff in there. I could put my jewelry. Except you all know I don't wear any jewelry. How do you turn on these? these right lights? there. Oh. Yeah. yeah there's a little thing and right there. All these lights in this room have like a dimming switch for everything. Yeah. So you know you can really set the mood. <laughs> oh, you like the mood flashing? <laughs> and I think this might even be like a premium winning set or something. Fancy. 
because you're living that sweet life. We have four pillows, not two. Yeah. <laughs> and you get the, the side end tables. There's some more storage there. You know what I'm not seeing, though? I'm not seeing a lot of plugs. Yeah. Or there's... I guess there's a few. They're just kind of spread out. You know, I was expecting the sweet life. There'd be, like, unlimited USB ports right by the bed. <laughs> Let's go outside. I've been dying to check out this balcony because it looks huge. All right, I found the door. Now can you open it? I know. There's. I think there's probably like some kind of lock on it. Up there. Okay. Oh wow, this is hard to open. Get a workout. <gasps> wow. We have oh my God. a table and chairs, but not only that, Peter, we have two full-blown recliners. That is amazing. With a little like side table, we could get drinks. This is insane. We could have our breakfast here. We could get drinks and like chill here, so we don't have to be out with you know the people up on the pool, <laughs> on the pool deck. Who are we can? We're not gonna even be. I know. That, it's so funny because normally like. We would not splurge on a thing like this because we're rarely in the room. Yeah. But this is absolutely incredible. Wow. I am blown. Whatever you do, don't look down. <laughs> Eventually, there's gonna be water down there. Okay. Not a fan of the height. <laughs> uh, but everything else, I love. Yeah. There's no water yet. <laughs> Pro tip, I was actually opening the door wrong. This is how you do it, people. You actually take the handle, you go like this, and then it's very easy. This is what I was doing before. You're trying to open it with the brakes on. Yeah. You're trying to dr drive a car with his brakes on. It's okay, we figured it out. It only took me two times and I'm already a pro. Lock it up for safety. <laughs> so also over here, this is a list of all the entertainment they have five different venues throughout the ship, and that's the entertainment for the entire eight days of the sailings. Some of them repeat themselves. And then every day you get one of these. It's called a cruise compass. And this like tells you some helpful tips, gives you, you know, daily highlights of what's going on. There's a bunch of events that happen. And uh, yeah, you can kind of plan. If you bring a highlighter, you could like highlight like what you want to do. Oh. Highlighter. Why didn't we bring a highlighter? Pro tip. Pro bring... tip. Bring a highlighter. Next cruise we go on, I'm bringing a highlighter. Or you could just use that. Are you hungry? I'm hungry. It's... We're... Let's go up and see what's open. There's this place I'm looking and there's this Mexican restaurant called El Loco Fresh. It says it's open. It's on deck 15. You want to go there? Sure. Okay. Oh. Our luggage has arrived. So our housekeeper, Arnell, told us that like when we're going out, you put this magnet on the door. It says, out catching thrills, please make up my room. Don't want them to, and you're sleeping. Do not disturb. Nice. There's so much going on on the ship. There's so many things to see and do, but it's pretty easy. Like say you want to go to the Windjammer Marketplace. It's on 16. You find 16 right there, Windjammer Marketplace. Not, not that hard. Look at that, they got an arcade. Yes, we found the arcade. <laughs> there's a, so many things on this ship. For some reason, I wasn't expecting an arcade. Oh yeah, there's a casino on this ship too, huh? Yeah. Oh, they have this whole little section. Oh, you can oh. charge your phone for yeah. free. It has a bunch of stuff, like if you forgot your headphones or batteries or whatever. It has, oh my, oh, here we go. We're gonna need to buy some some sunscreen. <laughs> they have yeah. everything you need in here. Everything that you might have might have forgotten, like tampons. It's funny. It's like a, a store, but it's a bunch of vending machines. Tums, Pepto. We're probably gonna need that at some point. <laughs> <laughs> We're all eating. After we go eat our Mexican yeah. food. <laughs> so indoors, you gotta wear a mask. Outdoors, you can take off the mask. Uh, I'm not sure if that's true of all the Royal Caribbean cruises, but on this cruise specifically. Everybody has to be vaccinated. Everybody 12 and over. So 
Yeah, they actually give you like a little green wristband, I guess, to prove that you're vaccinated. You have to show your vaccination card. Yeah. We got, we had to show it at least like three times so far, but now that we're on and we got our bracelet, like we're good to go. Yeah. And, and also, a few days before the cruise, we actually had to get, uh, get a COVID test and we had to show them the COVID test as well. So, there's a bunch of precautions. Looks like we found the ice cream station. This is actually perfect because we just took the elevator up, went out the door, and it's right here. So they're closed for breakfast, but they're open for lunch. Oh, they got antojitos. Yeah. It's not the antojitos from uh, Universal. I think that means like appetizers. Yeah. Don't quote me. And of course, just like any cruise, you have to wash your hands before going to any of the restaurants. This is something that was actually here, you know, before the pandemic. So wash up before you can eat. Yeah, I feel like cruises were the only places I would see those sanitizer stations all over the place before the pandemic. Now they're everywhere. <laughs> You're doing great, sweetie. Welcome to the local press. Thank you so much. Please enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to get? The restaurant that we decided to go to is called El Loco Fresh, and it's a cafeteria-style Mexican restaurant. They have a bunch of different sections. You could get burritos, you could build your own tacos, you could get quesadillas, nachos. They even have like a huge tray full of dessert and fresh fruits. And actually, there was a waiter that came to our table, and if you want to get margaritas, you can't get them here, but someone will come to your table take your order and then come bringing them to you which is nice yeah. and we have the unlimited drink package so you know that we got some margaritas this restaurant in particular is one of the free included options a lot of the the restaurants on the ship you actually have to pay like an upcharge on top of you know the price that you're paying for the cruise but this one is completely free it is unlimited you could grab if I wanted like 10 burritos I could have got 10 burritos I am kind of hungry but we're gonna try you know I ordered a cheese quesadilla and I think a beef burrito. I know it's probably not gonna be nothing amazing, but I'm excited to try it out and see. Yeah, I got <laughs> I got some tacos, I got a, the beef burrito I like well. how you just got like a side of meat. I told him to put it in the taco and he just put it on the plate. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Sure. You're like, just put the meat straight on I the said plate. I want a steak taco and he's just like, put it on the plate. I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, you did, I heard you. You said you wanted yeah. a side of rice and he put it on he your put taco. The, yeah, I said side of rice and he put it on the taco. I know, it's kind of a, you know, unfortunate because of the current situation of the world. We can't, they don't want you sticking your fingers on stuff. So they have people serving you, yeah. which is nice. But at the same time, it probably would have been more fun if we could have made the tacos ourselves. <laughs> you wouldn't have gotten a rice taco. Mm. <laughs> it's not like nacho cheese, but it tastes not like, really. it kind of tastes like Kraft, like Kraft American singles. Is that what they're called? Is that good or bad? Oh my God, it's like, it's like bringing me back to my childhood. Is it like amazing? No, but is it the hitting the spot right now? Yes. It's pretty good. I would totally come back here for lunch. Yeah. You're not gonna put any of the toppings on it? I got a whole no. thing of toppings. <laughs> Better than Taco Bell, I'll say that much. Oh my God, blasphemy. It's kind of funny, this place is called El Loco Fresh. I keep on thinking it's called El Polo Loco. Good. Get it straight. So as Kitra mentioned, we did get the beverage package in addition to the dining package. And what the beverage package includes, we got like the ultimate beverage package that includes unlimited soda from the Coke Freestyle machines and includes a bunch of specialty like juices and stuff. It also includes alcohol beverages. Uh, I think it was like 50 something dollars. We bought it ahead of time online. And that's the pro tip here is buy it online because you'll save like I forget what the percentage off, but like once you're on the ship, it ends up that, that discount goes away because they know they have you and you're stuck <laughs> on this. On, I want to say the boat, but I know this isn't a boat. It's a ship. It's a ship. Um, but it basically works out like alcohol beverages here are like 13, 15 bucks each. So if you get three a day, it ends up breaking even. If you get more than three a day, then you end up making it worth your while. So the the question is, will we drink more than three of these day? Yes. Probably. I got the watermelon margarita, which sounds like a Peter drink, but what Kitcher got here, the strawberry margarita, is that like frozen? Yeah, I yeah. got the frozen one. Yeah, that one. Oh my God. This is actually kind of strong. I could taste the tequila in there. 
but it's also nice and fruity and refreshing. It is a hot one today in Miami. It is humid out here and this is hitting the spot. How many margaritas are we gonna get? That's a real question. <laughs> the possibilities are unlimited. <laughs> I had to grab my ice cream after our meal. And the ice cream station is only open one to six. So if you want your ice cream, you gotta get it before they close. And they had, of course, chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. I'm kind of sad that they don't have banana because that was my favorite on the Disney Cruise Line, but I got strawberry and I'm, this is like the best part of cruising to me are these little tiny cones of ice cream. <laughs> mm. Yes, we're officially cruising, baby. <laughs> Looks like they have like a little kid splash pad, which we're probably not allowed in, but that's fine. We got our own areas. So we were walking by the sandbar, and of course, got to make use of that, that beverage package. So I got the Goombe Smash, which was recommended to me by James, the bartender. Which, by the way, they're wearing these buttons to show you what their faces look like because they're wearing, you know, obviously masks during this time. Yeah, I love that. That's such a nice like, yeah. little touch. Yeah, it's a good touch, for sure. And the Goombe Smash has Malibu coconut rum, Kraken rum, orange juice, and pineapple juice. I think I might have had some version of this over at Universal Studios at one point. You did. Yeah. Is it good? Officially <laughs> on vacation. Yeah. This feels like a very tropical... We're on island time now. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, five out of five feet. <laughs> How badly do you want to get in that water right now? You can change it to your team I know, I know we're gonna do like a whole video dedicated to all the slides and all the pools and stuff here. But man, it does look good, doesn't it? There's nobody out there right now. And actually that's a pretty good pro tip. Bring your swimwear and your carry-on so you can run to the pools and be, have the pools while no one else has them. I know. I feel like that's what we would have done if we weren't vlogging. We would have just gone straight to the pool. Yeah. <laughs> but right now we're just kind of walking around taking it all in because this ship is massive. And we're obviously picking up drinks along the way. I could be in one side of the hot tub and you could be all like on the others and there'll be nobody else around. When is it ever going to be like this? Never. So at the front of the ship, there's an area called the solarium, which is adults only. And it's kind of almost fully enclosed, which is nice because if you've ever been on the Disney ships, you know it gets a little windy up there. <laughs> but this is like kind of a serene area to get away from the kids. There's some hot tubs, there's some nice like lounge beds and stuff. Yeah, I have a feeling we're gonna be spending a lot of our time in here. Cause I like the no children areas personally. Yeah. They have their own bar. They actually even have their own restaurant up here too, which is pretty cool. you see what cool. this bar looks like? It it's like a awesome. sculpture around it. I wasn't planning to get another drink so soon, but there's nobody here and this bar is like pulling me in. Let's go check it out. I just noticed too, this area, it's multiple levels. So I think it goes down onto the deck below and there's actually a pool. I think it's a pool, not a hot tub, at the very front of the ship. I wanna get in this pool and I wanna, like once the ship starts going, look at this view. <laughs> I didn't realize you just like walk right into the pool. Right in. Looks good. So I decided to get myself the painkiller and this has rum, pineapple juice, orange juice, coconut syrup, and a dash of nutmeg on top. Looks so good. It's just so funny with this unlimited dining pad, like I already feel like we're getting our money's worth. <laughs> and I, I talked to the bartender there and just to clarify what was included in the package, basically any drink that's $13 or under is included. Anything that's more expensive than that, we just pay the difference. So if it was like $15, we'd pay the $2 difference, but he basically was like, everything on the ship is $13. Come on. Oh, yeah. This is good. So tropical. I love that like, basically the whole menu is nothing but tropical drinks, which we both love. Just gets a five out of five pictures. Hey, because the solarium is enclosed in glass, it is a little hotter over here. It's <laughs> kind of like hanging out in an oven. Yeah, it's like we're like hot boxing in here. Yeah. So let's get out of here. Yeah. be 
wave, obviously, <laughs> away from the city. Yes. But I think South Beach is like over here somewhere. Yeah. So I'm excited. I don't know when they're actually sailing away. Hopefully it's still daylight when they do, because wow, I'm so happy we walked up here. This is beautiful. So we're walking to dinner and we have some reservations and we came across the mini golf course. Yeah, that's so fun. We're totally gonna have to do that. I challenge you. Are you up for the challenge? Uh, I mean, I guess. <laughs> it looks cute. Wait, wait, is it a better score if it's a higher number or a lower number? You wanna get a lower number, Peter. Higher is not good in this case. Hmm. <laughs> get in, loser. It's time to play mini golf. Just kidding, we're not gonna play right now, but eventually it's gonna be time to play mini golf. Mini golf, so get in. <laughs> We made it to the the butt of the ship, so this, some might say that this is the biggest butt check I've ever done. But look at this, the beautiful Miami skyline. The sun is kind of starting to set, and it's just oh, picture perfect here. So beautiful. They even got a full-size basketball court <laughs> on here. They got like everything on the ship. I know. You guys, you might be think like, wow, it's so amazing. We have showed you like one tenth of everything on the ship. So like we said before, you're really gonna wanna subscribe because we're gonna go through everything on the ship and you're gonna be amazed at how awesome it is. Yeah. By the way, if you thought our suite was nice, there's a suite that's like multiple stories and it has a slide going down from the top level to the second <laughs> level. And outside they have like this jungle gym on the outside balcony, it's huge. And I'm looking at it right now. That's oh yeah, those ones are huge. So for dinner, we ended up going to a restaurant called Izumi. It is a hibachi restaurant. Tapanyaki, I think is how you say it. It's basically like Benihana. Yeah, it's basically like Benihana, and you go and you sit and you watch the chef cook your food in front of you, and it's so much fun. Yeah, it's more of a show than it is. I mean, it's great food, but the show adds to it. Yeah, the food that we got actually was pretty tasty. I don't think, unfortunately, it was as good as Benihana. I'm gonna be honest, their fried rice is way better. But you know, it's always fun watching the chef cook in front of you. And there was like a period in my life where I actually wanted to get one of those like flat <laughs> cooking serves. Yeah. yeah, cause I was like envisioning, I'm like, oh my God, if I got one of these, cause they make it look so easy. I mean, I know it's hard cause they're <laughs> doing tricks and stuff, but like they make it look like, oh, you just like throw a piece of chicken on it and then like it basically cooks itself. It's not that easy. So we shouldn't get one of those? No. Okay. <laughs> so I ended up getting the geisha, which is like, a grilled steak and chicken and it was it was very good yeah and i ordered the izumi i just realized that it was actually named after the restaurant the one that i got <laughs> which it was sea scallops and lobster and they do have their own signature cocktails the one i got was the japanese strawberry it's a crisp fruity sake cocktail with a hint of lime it was very sugary. And <laughs> yeah, I, you got, I got a few of them. Of them. Yeah. <laughs> I ordered the spicy Okinawa, and this is a sriracha and citrus mixed with agave, grapefruit juice, and premium sake. One of the ladies at our table actually recommended this to me, so she was like, you gotta try it. And it was actually really, really good. I would totally get that again. And then I also got a Sapporo beer because, you know, it's like a Japanese beer and it's really good. It's like the Japanese Budweiser, basically. Yeah, and we should say that this is one of the premium restaurants on the ship, which means that normally with the price of your cabin, you get to go to the main dining room, which I've heard is, is great and every night they have different food. But if you wanna to go to the other ones, if you wanna to go to the more interesting restaurants, you gotta pay extra or you can get a dining package. We got the ultimate dining package, which means <laughs> we can go every night. Yeah, we're going all out on this cruise, you guys. We're sparing no expense. Yeah, we wanted to show you guys what the different options were like on the ship. And I think we paid like 230 or so dollars each to do that, which is not a bad deal considering what the prices are. I think for Azumi, it was like 50 or 60 bucks per person if you go there without a package, but if you do have a package, this is the one restaurant that is a little weird and you do have to pay a little extra. Yeah, it's it was $10 per person extra. Say our chef was so funny. You could tell that he loves his job. And I don't want to like diminish him by saying like, oh, I'm going to go get that 
flat cooking <laughs> surface and do it because he was like doing tricks. He was like throwing eggs around, throwing Telling jokes. Yeah, throwing spatulas around. Juggling. Yeah, he was really funny and it made it made it such a good experience and it was so cool because when we were sitting there, the ship actually like took off. Yeah. So we got to like, they like opened the curtains and you saw it leaving Miami. So it was just like a really nice first way to start our evening. Yeah. I don't know how they do it. The chef does it because I don't he's either. like not only cooking a good meal and great food, but he's telling all the jokes, doing all the, you know, the stick that he does. And he remembers everybody's name. He remembers everybody's order. And he was like reaching across the hot surface to like give you your plate. I like felt bad. I was like, please don't do that. But yeah. Normally I would enjoy a table off to ourselves, not having to interact with other people, but it's cool being around this communal table and you kind of make friends on the cruise. I'm gonna go ahead and say that like, if you're coming on a Royal Caribbean cruise, I believe they have this restaurant in most of their ships. I would say check it out yeah. if you want to spend like a little bit extra money. After dinner, we headed to Studio B for an ice skating show. It's called 1977. It's a thrilling adventure on ice. And you actually had to make reservations for the show because of the pandemic. And what was actually kind of surprising is the whole theater had these re reserved markers for some physical distancing. So there was, I would say, Two thirds, three fourths of the theater, like all the seats were covered and you couldn't actually sit there. So there's a lot less people in here than there is normal. fun. I really loved how they transformed such a small space so creatively. There was so much going on. It was just so much better than I was expecting. Yeah, I am usually not an ice skating guy, so I was nervous about going here, but the show was so epic and so huge, like you said, for that space. And the performers were all like amazing. Yeah. So highly recommend this. Yes, me too. Gets the Ordinary Adventure star, ice skating star. That's a thing, right? Uh, sure. So the show started at 10.45 p.m. and it's almost midnight now. So we're gonna get to bed. If you haven't seen the video that we recorded in Orlando before this trip, we went to Galaxy's Edge and tried all the new food over in Batu East. We'll put the video right over there. We wanna say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes Kelly Enos, Jackie Saldana, Curtis Dudley, and Quaid. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll, we'll see, see you on, on the next, next adventure. Cruise vlog. Cruise day. Day, Cruise two. day part two. Subscribe.